Hello, hello, hello. Um, so this is the second part of my video um, where I show off my things I've picked up, interesting stuff. Um, so whereas the last video was mainly things I picked up randomly or for my, I got received for my birthday, this is going to be things I've picked up on my travels. Um, so we've been away for a couple of weeks. Um, we were meant to be in Tokyo, but that obviously got cancelled again um, for the third time now. So this is just things I've picked up um, randomly, um, no, on my travels. I say that, I'm going to start off with a few things that I meant to show in my last video, but I just kind of forgot. Um, this Super Mario Game & Watch, I received the Zelda one for Christmas and I quite liked it. And so Jade picked him up the Mario one. I don't think the Mario one is quite as impressive as it only does. It does only have like one game and then Super Mario the Lost Levels, which is pretty much the uh, kind of using all the same stuff from the first game. But um, yeah, it's, it's good though. I was quite pleased to receive that. Uh, this little Goosebumps figure of the horror. Um, these are quite expensive, these little Goosebumps figures. I have a couple of them now. This is, well, I think this is my third one. Um, they're surprisingly expensive for what they are, but I do love Goosebumps, and that was fairly cheap, so I picked it up. Um, this is something else I picked up from uh, from the Entertainer online. I'm really not planned this, have I? It is Turbo Man from Jingle All The Way. Uh, mid-90s sort of uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger um, Christmassy did I say Christmassy? It's a comedy, like it's a light-hearted sort of Christmassy movie where he's trying to get his son Turbo Man which is like a the hot toy that Christmas so um, yeah I picked up that and these are mainly these are all things I think we've picked up while uh, travelling around Either England from Birmingham, went to Birmingham, Manchester, and then back up to Glasgow. Uh, so yeah, these are all things I picked up on the way. Lots of Blu-rays. This is Galaxy of Terror, which um, I bought I, I, mainly because the color, cover art amused me, and I doubt it's anything like that. Since then, I've uh, discovered that um, I've forgotten his name. <laughs> oh God, James Cameron. James Cameron worked on this. Um, so that'd be interesting to see. It was kind of like a knockoff of Alien, um, but kind of I think it improved James uh, Cameron's standing a little, and uh, got him kind of on the path to do Aliens and Terminator. Uh, this was I got this from the junk shop in Paisley. It's a junk shop. It's not. It's not really a junk shop. It's an antique shop, but a very cluttered antique shop. Uh, Killer Gorilla, which has three movies. Um, which are obviously King Kong-y sort of inspired movies. Um, this has Gorilla, Ape, and the Ape Man. Um, Buster Crab, Boris Karloff, and Bella Lugosi. Um, from that same junk shop, I got these two Vectrex games. Scramble and Rip Off. I paid £20 each for these Vectrex games, which I was unsure whether that was a good buy or not. Um, but... I never, like, like the Star Wars toys that I picked up from the same shop the month before, I never see Vectrex games out in the wild, especially box. And online, they look like they do go for a little bit more than that, um, closer to 40. Um, so I was quite pleased about them. They've also they've got all the inserts, and um, so for the Vectrex, it had, uh, it's like a big console, um, like with a screen. And you put like little plastic overlays onto the screen to change the colours and make it look a bit different. Um, and they, they have them in there. And they aren't super common to find them with the overlays. This was some um, cheap DS game. I, basically as a charity shop I was in, they were doing like uh, four DVDs or things for, for a pound. I got this. Uh, I can't remember what else I got from there. Uh, Knight Rider Series 1. Um, the Warriors on VHS. So this is my. I got this in my hometown of Ludlow. It's like a little, uh, a little cats protection league. I think it is or forest dog rescue. I'm not sure. It's an animal charity. 
But the lady that manages it, uh, I did a charity concert gig for her once. Um, I can't remember what they, what it was in aid of. I don't think it was the charity she works for. But it was some, some sort of gig we did for her, uh, the band I was in at the time. And I was looking for all the DVDs and couldn't find anything interesting. I found there was a load of videos propping up the DVDs. And this was one of them. And I asked how much it was. And she said, oh, just have it. We don't sell videos. I think I put 50p in the, in the box anyway. But um, I do like me some videos. Um, so, yeah. From the junk shop in Paisley. I keep calling it a junk shop. And it's not really a junk shop. I bought some tape cassettes. Uh, Story of the Clash, Volume 1. Which is like... Um, well, just like kind of a compilation of Clash albums. Stone Temple Pilots Core. And Twisted Sister. You can't stop rock and roll. Uh, the reason I picked those up is because when we, we went to uh, Brayhead, which is a kind of shopping centre outside of Glasgow, and I picked up this. It's a tape player, and also uh, it's got an SD card, Bluetooth speakers. So... I quite like the idea of having like retro sort of technology with modern sort of peripherals. So uh, after I got that, I wanted to get some tapes to try out on it. You don't see tapes very often, so uh, it was cool that we found those in the in that shop. Uh, from HMV, I got the Thing on Blu-ray and the Hammer Dracula. Uh, I also got Halloween. These are all movies I've got on DVD, but I, I would I do like I'm starting to upgrade them to Blu-ray. I'm not quite on like the 4K sort of era yet. I'm a bit behind the times, but I, uh, I do notice the difference of Blu-ray, and I do quite like it. Uh, Invisible Man, which completes my ha uh, Universal Horror Collection. Evil Dead trilogy. I move these because I'm gonna run out of space. And from CEX, I had uh, some credit to trade in. From trade-ins, I had some credit. So I picked up the Twilight Zone on Blu-ray. I've never seen the Twilight Zone. Um, how I understand it, it's quite similar to Ultra Q, the Japanese series that kind of came out before Ultraman, where, like, every episode is something a bit different and a bit weird going on. And So I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, there's, like, 150 episodes in this box set. What else did we get? Oh, we went car boot sailing in Glasgow. Uh, didn't find too much, but uh, I did pick up a few things. Some Bruce Lee movies, Enter the Dragon, uh, The Legend Lives On, and Fist of Fury. Um, I picked up a ton of PSP games from this uh, car boot sale. I traded some of those in. Um, but these are kind of the ones I kept because I couldn't, some I couldn't remember if I got them already or if, uh, yeah, if I had them already or if they're any good or what. So, Burnout, Sonic Rivals, Smackdown vs. Raw 2007, Call of Duty, Roads to Victory, Ridge Racer, Crash Tag Team Racing, and Spider-Man 3. Uh, from a pan, uh, no, what are they called? cash converters in Bury, just outside of Manchester, I overpaid on this. Mega Man powered up. So I picked it up and saw that sticker, price sticker behind. To me, it said 4 99 Obviously, if you invert it and actually dive it the right way, it says... 30, I don't know if you can see it. 34 99 which is uh, quite a bit more. And I didn't notice that until a few days later after we checked my bank balance. I noticed I'd paid £34. And I was like, what's happening? Why have I spent that much there? And then I looked at the price of that. And obviously, um, yeah. It, I mean, I wanted the game, but not for £35. I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have paid that. Um, so yeah, I felt really stupid and very pissed off at myself for... Uh, for making such a mistake. Uh, this is Godzilla, the 1997 one. I picked it up from the charity shop only because it had a weird case. I've never not seen a DVD case like a CD before. Um, I don't really know why I picked it. Mainly because they had like four things for a pound, I think. So that was the reason I got that one. 
um, from that junk shop in Paisley. Also got this Alice Cooper DVD. Uh, my girlfriend, she really likes sort of music DVDs. I don't really watch them, but she likes them. Uh, found like a little Oxfam bookshop. And in there they were selling loads of 70s and 80s uh, sci-fi novels. And I love old like 70s and 80s sci-fi or horror cover art. So I picked up quite a few of these. Um, there's something so like familiar. I remember seeing these sort of books on car boot sales as a kid and thinking, wow, these look so cool. You know, especially I love this one, with the, the purple slimy creatures. Um, so I don't know if any of these are any good. I know Harry Harrison, he did uh, the Stainless Steel Rat series I really like. Um, look at that. So cool looking. And oh yeah, Forgotten Realms, uh, Realms of Valor. Um, as I really like uh, the Dungeons and Dragons world and Tales of Dritz and all that. From CEX I picked up Horizon. Forbidden West because I love Aloy and her quests against robot animals and things. Uh, the first game was one of my favourite sort of open world games I've ever played. Um, so I was quite keen to pick that up. I picked this little guy up from a car boot sale. I wasn't sure what he was. Uh, it turns out he's a Power Ranger uh, Zord from... I can't remember the series, but early 2000s Power Rangers, so... After my time, unfortunately, so I'm not sure what I'm going to do with him, but he was uh, worth the money I paid for it. I also picked up a couple of Micro Machines and a little Robot Wars Matilda as well. From the same guy, I think I paid £1.50 for the lot. Um, yeah, I like car boot sales, you get silly little things for cheap prices. From the junk shop in Paisley again, I picked up um, a whole load of books. Basically, before I moved to Scotland, I had tons of comic books, but I got rid of them all because it was a pain in the ass to shift them up here. And I've kind of missed them, and they were selling some of the ones I've gotten rid of. So got Judge Shred Complete Case Files number one. Marvel Essentials, uh, Tales of the Zombie. So Marvel's Essentials are basically, uh, they were kind of like old stories from like... Uh, I guess from like the 50s or whatever, up to the 70s and 80s, uh, reprinted on quite cheap sort of paper, um, lacking colour and stuff, but still, you're still getting the story, the original stories and stuff. So it's a Central Thor, Central Ghost Rider, and Central Doctor Strange. Um, I had... Iron Man and the Hulk and Spider-Man when I was younger. But I thought these are a good, these were a uh, fairly good price. So I thought these are a good uh, start to getting them back. And, oh, finally, I picked up this creature from the Black Lagoon shelf. Um, I'd spotted this a while back and it was about 30 quid. Um, in a shop called Damage Society. Yeah, and, um, but I wasn't prepared to spend 30 quid. But I was prepared to spend 20 quid, which uh, it was down to now when I found it in a shop in Manchester, in Damage Society in Manchester, and picked it up. And then in Glasgow, I spotted them again. Um, and I picked one up for uh, David Olsen, who is, uh, uh, I think he's like an admin on the UK minifigure uh, group which I'm part of um, so yeah that looked like it will be perfect for displaying like monsters in my pocket or something I don't know I don't know how big it's gonna be but uh, it's cool as hell anyway I love that sort of retro aesthetic of artwork it looks like it's sort of art that's on like um, old sort of uh, horror what you call it like uh, ghost trains and things like that that's sort of painted on so that is everything I think I've got from the past couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, I had some really cool stuff, cool finds. I need, just need to find a place to fit it all now. It has just been kind of just building up, because I like to do these videos, and uh, 
like I can't put things away otherwise I'll forget I had them and that has been kind of just building up so now I've done this video these videos I can kind of put them all away again um I think that's pretty much everything again thank you very much for watching my nonsense um hopefully you'll find some sense of enjoyment out of these nonsense videos of me just blathering on about things I've picked up um so yeah I really need to find some way to end these videos because I always think like there you go that's that's it done bye <laughs> but uh yeah thank you for watching <laughs>